Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about our nursing school experience. So guys, I've been meaning to film this video for a while now, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking us about our experience. So we did, yes, go to the same nursing school and our paths did cross during that time period. So I graduated nursing school in 2016. And I graduated in 2014. Yeah, so we both went to Dominican University of California, which is located in San Rafael. And um, I went as a just normal student, you know, I graduated high school and went straight to Dominican and your experience was a little different. Yeah, I actually trans ended up going to a different UC in California and then changed career paths and decided to do nursing and transferred into Dominican. Yeah, so our main focus is just talking about our experience there, but a disclaimer, first of all, remember that we did graduate years ago, so things definitely has probably changed. And I do have cousins that are currently active uh, going to Dominican and so our experiences are a little different and we have compared our experiences with them And so I just want you to keep that in mind as we discuss our experiences But yeah, so let's just talk a little bit about what did you think like the classroom size? Did you feel like that was adequate because I feel like a lot of people go to private school for that purpose and yes Dominican was a private school so yeah, I'd say it's a little bit different since being in the nursing program um Typically, the normal other classrooms are about 15 students, mm -hmm. but then the nursing classes, they're kind of split. You have your cohort and then they split in two. So our typical class is like 25, 30 students. So I still appreciated that because I came from a public UC mm -hmm. and it was like 500 mm -hmm. to 1,000, some yep. of the classroom sizes. So. Yeah. Yeah, Big like, change yeah for completely me. different so i grew up always going to a very small school so i've never actually experienced what it was like going to a very big school and so dominican was just extreme comfort for me having the smaller size classes yeah like 20 students is about average mm. of what a classroom even with taking like prerequisite classes so like english your other science classes like bio and stuff like that our classes were still somewhat smaller um like maybe maximum 40 students so i've never experienced what it's like having hundreds of students in my class like i can't imagine that you know yeah so, um i we got pretty lucky in that sense and that's really one of the main reasons why i wanted to go to dominican also because i wanted you know to have more attention on me like if i had questions or i wanted to talk to my professor i didn't feel out of reach with them because you know i don't want to be their one out of a hundred students that they had to talk definitely. to you know? the teachers the faculty the nursing faculty definitely mm -hmm. knows their students yeah and i i think that was the biggest thing that i liked about being in a private school at yeah. least dominican yeah you had a voice as a student right yes so. exactly and that's what was very important to me to be able to have that voice but um yeah there are people that go to public schools private schools for different reasons but of course you know like when we consider into the fact too of like tuition costs, I know for some people, they think going to Dominican was very expensive. It, it, it is a very expensive school, but I think how it, why it worked out for me, it was that, I mean, we did get a lot of financial aid. Mm -hmm. um, I did get a scholarship to go there as well. Was that the same, same case for you? Same case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the end, it ended up being worth it. And I personally wanted something that was pretty much set in stone. Like I didn't want to have to reapply to get into the program again, but I have heard that Dominican has changed their process now of getting into the nursing program. So please do your research. But when we went, at least, I didn't have to reapply to go in the program. I went straight in as a um, pre-nursing student. And then in my sophomore year, we went straight into the nursing program. I didn't have to take a test or reapply yeah. to get back into the nursing program, right? At least, yeah, same experience for me. Once you are admitted to the school for mm -hmm. nursing, they have a set course. As long as you pass all your classes, yeah. you're set to graduate yeah. on time. On time, yeah. So it took me four years and that's the typical path. As long as, like like Herrick said, you've passed your classes and you're pretty set in stone and you're set to graduate in four years. And so I wanted that guarantee and that's why I did go to Dominican for that reason. Same. Yeah. So our experiences with the professors, I know actually a lot of them have retired now or have left. So it may have changed now, but 
honestly, I had a pretty good experience with my professors. What about you? I did too. I uh, let me see. I don't have any teachers that stand out that yeah. were in my blacklist. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. I mean, overall though, they because of our small school size, they were pretty interactive with us and. There was a lot of professors that we were directly in contact with. I mean, you and I, we worked in the simulation lab. So we were pretty close with um, some of our professors, right? Yeah. Through that experience. And it taught us a lot on just like connecting the dots with what you learn in lecture and doing skills lab, right? Yeah. So that I, was a good experience. Plus we were pretty involved in school. We weren't just the students that right. just come in, come out, yeah. not really be part of any organization or be on campus. Yeah. So, so speaking of that, so I mentioned that we were part of the simulation lab, which was our type of work study. So we got paid to teach oh, other I, students, right? I, didn't get, I, oh, I volunteered for it. Oh, you volunteered to do it. Yeah. Okay. And then so what other um, extracurriculars were you involved in on campus? Uh, the DNSA club. Okay. So yeah, I was president of our Dominican Nursing Students Association, so DNSA. And, then and you were Sigma an active Theta. member. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, Sigma Theta Tau is something that you have to apply for in your junior or senior year. And so that's something what like I remember having to do application process, write a yeah. little short summary paper on why they should admit us into that. But that's something we it's were also Dominicans in. Honor Society mm -hmm. for nurses. Yeah. Um, Anything else? else was there? No, I think uh, I did was it skills? Oh, I already forgot. Yeah. So you were you did Sigma Theta Tau, DNSA, and Simulation Lab. And I did DNSA, Sigma Theta Tau, Simulation Lab. And I also did this leadership studies program as well where it was really cool because um, me and my sister, we got to be a part of the lectures. And so we'd have actually like um, those authors who write books come to our school Ooh. and talk about their books. And that was really cool, and we got to be a part of that, and that was also something that I did on campus as well. The other thing I did, it's not in uh, a club or organization. I actually studied abroad during one mm. of the summers. So I got to go to Mexico yeah. and work at the clinics as a nurse yeah. in Mexico for a summer. So that was a pretty cool experience. Yeah, that was something cool that Dominican offered for the students, and you did that in your junior or senior? I think it was... Yeah, I believe it was my senior year. My senior yeah. year. Okay. So yeah, that's an opportunity as well. And Dominican also does have connections with other hospitals where you can do externships at. And I believe there's some people that did theirs at like Kaiser or something oh, yeah. connected with Dominican. So Dominican does op offer opportunities like that too, if that's something you're interested in. It does open some doors for people to land jobs after they graduate. So that's pretty cool. Definitely. Yeah, but I think... Um, one of, the, one of the biggest things too that I always mention in all my videos is that being involved and not just being a student. I think that's what made our experience the way it was at Dominican because it, honestly, if I was just the type of person that would just go to campus, go to class, go to clinicals and go home, I feel like I wouldn't have enjoyed the experience at Dominican as much as I did. And I feel like that's what made my experience a truly the best experience that I had and why I treasured my experience at Dominican and why I think that shaped me to be who I am now. And it was through those experiences. So me being involved with um, leadership and DNSA, and then also being a part of Skills Lab where we interacted with other students, like that was what made my experience the best. I don't think, mm -hmm. I mean, the school of course had something to do with it, a part of it, but I think the biggest portion of it just has to do with the fact that we were just more active on campus. Do you yeah. agree with that? Oh yeah, and I felt like it was welcomed, like the small size of the yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. I felt open to get to know the teachers, mm -hmm. kind of ask them for help. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, just, I felt like my actions mattered. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think that's what made the experience better because they were so welcoming and that you, you are able to connect well with your professors. And I think because I was also part of leadership that I was able to go directly to them and they knew who I was. And we, I was kind of like the middleman between the students and the, and the um, professors and things like that. So we can kind of discuss concerns or whatever and bridge that gap. So I think that also made my experience great at Dominican too. But I think overall, I had a great experience. I, I did too. Yeah, I think... I would recommend that school to anyone. I would too. And that was just based off of when we went yeah. and our experience there. And like I said, things may have changed now. And so please do your research on that. But 
I don't want you to judge the school based off of the types of professors that are there or whatever people say about the school. It's more of like really how you put yourself into it and into the situation and anywhere you go, whether you're at a school or whether you're working, it's really through your experiences on what's going to make it better for you and being active and being involved and mm -hmm. connecting with other people, meeting other students um, and talking to the professors, like really making the most out of your experiences, what's going to really make it more enjoyable for you, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Do you have any other, well other mm -hmm. input you want to say? Yeah, so I mean, I loved it so much that that's why I recommended it to my cousins. And so I have three of them. One of them just graduated and two of them are currently students there. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys to share a little bit more about our experiences. And for those that are currently doing their nursing school research, definitely check out some of my other videos that I have because I do talk about things to look for. Mm. and not just like school sizes and things like that and tuition but there's other factors to look for also as well when you're considering nursing programs too so i will leave that down in the description below make sure to check that video out please let us know what other videos you'd like to see from us and i'll see you guys in my next one bye